Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav, and in today's video, I am going to cover Proc SQL in true questions and answers. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about me and my experience. Let's move on to the next slide. So, guys, if you want to learn SAS, you can contact me. So, guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview and you want a help or you want a SAS interview session, you can contact me. All right, guys. So, this is the first question. Find out the third highest MSRP in SAS help dot cars data. So MSRP means manufacturers suggested retail price. So the third highest price we want to find out or you may get another question like find out the third highest salary or fourth highest salary. So question can be asked in any way. This variable is the source MSRP and these are the values. Let's see the answer. So there are two answers we are going to discuss in this question so first we are solving this using proc sql so here i'm using proc sql select msrp is our variable from sas help dot cars and i'm giving a name alias to c1 where 3 minus 1 so 3 minus 1 means because we want to calculate the third highest msrp this mean 3 minus 1 so 3 minus 1 means when you are calculating the third highest MSRP or a salary or whatever you are calculating, that means if you are asking for the third position, that means there should be two more values that are greater than the value you are looking for. So third means the third is the one you are looking, but first and second position values are greater than of what you want to calculate. So that's why we are subtracting three minus one. That means two. The two values should be greater than the third value. Now here I am using an inner query or correlation query so you can see what we are doing here select count distinct msrp all the unique values of this msrp we are counting from sas help dot cars c2 and what condition we are applying we are saying where c2 dot msrp is greater than c1 dot msrp so whatever values of msrp that is coming from outer query we are comparing it here so if we are 3 minus 2 that means two values should be greater than whatever value we are passing from outer query so count will give you the count so when the count is coming from 2 from this query and here 3 minus 1 is 2 so when this condition is true that means whatever value whatever msrp you are finding out that should be lesser than with two values so two values should be greater than whatever you are calculating so using this method you can calculate any number of highest msrp or salary or whatever uh, variable is asked so if you want to find out fifth highest you just do five minus one so this is the one way of doing this there is another way also so let's see the second answer so this time i am using proc rank so it will calculate the rank or provide the ranking based on the msrp variable so i'm using proc rank data says help dot cars out equal cars underscore new keep msrp msrp rank where msrp rank equal three so just uh, we'll discuss this a little later and I am just doing ranking based on descending. So the highest at top and lowest at bottom and variable is MSRP and the new variable is created ranks with the ranks keyword and name is MSRP rank because we want to give a ranking. So this will hold the ranking first position, second position, third position uh, descending. So this will be holding three as the third highest. So that's why when I am doing a out statement or creating output data set, I am saying that only keep two variable MSRP or MSRP rank. So this is MSRP rank and giving a filter condition where MSRP rank equal three. So it will give you the third highest salary. So if you want second highest, just apply a filter like two. If you want fifth, apply a filter five. So this way you can calculate n number of highest value there may be another ways of solving this question i hope this is clear let's move on to the next question create emp count variable in sas help dot cars and assign value one in sas help dot cars data set using proc sql query so this time we want to create a new variable emp count based on sas help dot cars that variable would have one value for one observation okay so this is the query i'm creating a new table instead of amending the same table sas help dot cars i am using new cars data set i'm creating so create table new cars as select 
star all the variables of this sas help dot cars plus assign value one as in emp dot count variable so one variable will be created emp count that would have value one for each iteration of this tables observation let's see the output this is a partial output and the output would be like this emp count one 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 you can see one value for each observation i hope this is clear let's move on to the next slide in below query what is the use of group by clause so here create table new cars as select star from sas help dot cars group by make so i am using group by clause but this query does not have any summary function or aggregate function and we know that group by works on aggregate function so now what will happen will there be any error no there won't be any error let's see the answer answer is in above query group by clause is used however summary or aggregate function is not used hence group by clause will convert to order by clause and sort the data set ascending by variable make so based on this make variable data set will be sorted now you can see that i mentioned that one warning will be showed in log that is a group by clause has been transformed into an order by clause so guys please remember this question mostly asked let's move on to the next slide in below query what is the use of summary function without group by clause so this question is just opposite of the previous question where we were having group by clause but did not have summary function but this time we have a summary function here but do not have a group by clause so what will happen let's see the answer in above query summary aggregate function is used however group by clause is not used hence entire table will be considered as one group and total sales variable will have sum of all msrp variable values so entire table will become one group or entire variable will become one group for this summary function and it will provide the total of all the values without creating any groupings i hope this is clear let's move on to the next if we run below two queries will there be any difference in output so the query is create table new cars as select make some msrp as total sales from sas help dot cars and we are applying a filter where make equal bmw so make is the brand in the next query everything is same in the state of where we are using having and just we wanted to find out if the result are same or different let's see the answer so answer is yes results will be different the first query will first apply the filter on make variable and then calculate the total sales however in second query total sales variable will be calculated first on all the values of msrp variable and then filter make equal bmw will be applied so in the first one filter is applied first and then calculation will happen in the second query first all the calculation will be done and then filter will be applied so values would be different and we know that having works with groups whereas where apply with observations let's see the answer we can see that with the first query the output is this so 8 lakh 65705 dollar okay and in the second one if you see with all the values total values so so it's like uh, it's in crores 1 crore 40 lakh 27638 so you can see a lot of difference between both of them i hope you are clear about this where and having filters let's move on to the next that's it guys if you like this video please hit the like button or subscribe my channel we will meet in the next video till the time bye and take care